Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out the dev menu for Dying Light 2. Uh, Death RGH did find a way to get it enabled, and he went ahead and created the package that we're able to use to get it loaded up. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the video, guys. Uh, I'm pretty excited to check this out. Um, I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download it. It's 330 megabytes. But yeah, once you do get it downloaded, there's multiple ways you can get it to uh, install on your PlayStation. I'm just going to go ahead and just copy the package file over to a USB and just make sure I put it on the root of it. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it is going pretty quick. Um, there's multiple ways you can go ahead and transfer it. You can use the package installer. Um, anything will work. Um, we're going to be using the duplexed release of Dying Light as well. I should mention that there. And uh, currently there is no update, so just the base will work fine. There is links for 505 as well. Um, this particular package is not for that. I will leave a link in the description for that as well. But yeah, once you do get it copied over, we can jump over onto the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we can go over to our settings. I already went ahead and did the jailbreak, so we're good to go. We can go right into Goal 10, and just make sure your USB device is plugged in, and we're going to Package Installer, and we have it right there. So we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here to install. As you can see, it is going fairly quick. Um, we're about halfway now. Okay, 75% or so, and there we go, 100%. There we go, perfect. So now that it is installed, we can back out of there. Go ahead and select our dying light now. Give it a few moments here just to get loaded up. You can go ahead and unplug your USB as you won't need it anymore. Uh, once the package is installed, you're good to go. And it may take a little bit of time the first time you launch it. It's just because it's looking for the the offsets. And then once it does find it, it should switch it. And it should load normal after the first time. Okay, so we are loading it now. Go ahead and skip that. Just press X. Okay. Starting to load in now. Does seem to be taking a little long to load. Uh, there we go. So we'll go ahead and hit X and it should start loading. Now I've already went ahead and created a save file. I was playing it earlier. Um, so once we do get in, we can see right here, brought to you by Death RGH, and we can see that Dying Light Dev Menu is enabled. There are two good things there, but uh, yeah, once we uh, finish that there, we can go ahead and just hit Continue Game. Okay guys, so I went ahead and loaded in. This is currently where I am in the game, uh, just at the beginning. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and load up the Developer's Menu by just hitting our spacebar. And we'll hit R1 right over to Hints. And you can see it does come up. Um, there's lots of options in here. This is uh, your quest your quest options. You can go in and check that out. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time with all the options. There's just so many options, guys. You can go ahead and check them out. Um, but we'll go ahead and hit it back into Items. Uh, lots of items there. Go ahead and select them. And as you can see, I just got 99 there. Um, we can scroll down. I don't know if there's a fast way to go or not. Um, 
Yeah, R2 will actually go really fast. You can find that item that you want and then uh, go ahead and apply it. So just go ahead and hit X on it. And there you go. Uh, we'll back out of there. Go into our cheats. Now there's lots of different cheats in here. Um, you can go ahead and check them out, test them. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to get into everything. Let's go down and just check out weather. Uh, okay, so weather does work. I can see it uh, changing in the background there. Let's see if we can get a storm. Oh, yeah, and we do. Okay, so go ahead, jump back in there again. I'm going to player options. So there's God mode there. Turn that on. Cheat mode. I'm not exactly sure what cheat mode does because uh, we're able to add everything anyways. Um, go into all skills. There you go. And all your skills are added. There's another trophy. Um, so you can take a look at our health there. It's not actually full. So let's see if we can uh, maximize that. Go into player again. And we'll go down to restore health. Back out. And look at that. We do have our health restored. Um, we'll go ahead and jump back in there again. Um, go to player. Uh, let's go down to give ammo, give money, see what happens there. Ammo. I don't think I have any guns, so it may not work. Um, if you give yourself a gun, maybe it will. Money. There we go. Money's going in. Only 1,000 at a time, but still better than uh, anything. Add all crafts. Not exactly sure what that does. Let's go ahead and... Oh, just gave us a bunch of crafts there. There it goes. It's all coming in now. Um, we can back out of there. Um, dialogues. We can go in there. Okay. What else we got here? There's there's just so many options, guys. You're going to have to just go ahead and check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you find anything interesting, um, anything that's cool other than the game. But, yeah, I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.